In 2019, the YouTube channel DIY Designer made an awesome Cybertruck paper model and made those plans available uh, in the description on their channel with that video. And I knew immediately that I had to build one. I went and started shopping for specialty papers, uh, was looking originally, of course, for something that would look, give me the brushed stainless look, but then I found this dark chrome that I thought was super cool. I should name this model now the fingerprint maker because you can hardly handle it without uh, leaving marks on it. But I love how it kind of disappears. It only exists if it's a reflection of something else. Um, I built that and just about the time that I finished it, we heard another fellow YouTuber, space journalist, Marcus House. He gives us weekly updates on Starship development and so much more. He was musing in one of his episodes. He did a segment on the Cybertruck and he said, you know Elon's gonna have these things on Mars. And having just finished this, I thought to myself, so today we're gonna go ahead and use the awesome plans provided by DIY Designer to make the Home and Design Mars Edition Paper Model Cybertruck. The first step was for me to go and think about the kind of motifs that would spell uh, kind of space exploration or Mars. And so we went through and printed each of, I think it's the seven sheets in the PDF in different colors that we thought helped promote our little narrative here. The first being our truck body panels, which we're doing in a gloss white. This is kind of reminding us of the rocketry from some of the early days of space exploration. We're going to go ahead. We found some brushed aluminum vinyl and I've printed out some of the sheets as plain paper templates. We're going to go ahead and back that vinyl with, cut and fold those parts and have those brushed aluminum parts. Nothing says space exploration like aerospace grade aluminum. The Lunar Rover had mesh wheels that kind of looked like a charcoal gray. So gray felt like the, the tire color for our Mars truck. Um, in terms of doing decals, I'm thinking the American flag playing very prominently in so many of space exploration's greatest endeavors. Uh, safety notices and placards. Uh, I'm thinking Helvetica. Uh, we all know the names of the space shuttles. Atlantis printed along the side of the fuselage. Um, we'll take a look at maybe uh, giving each one of our cyber trucks a name and doing something with that. Additionally, um, mirrored glass, like on the lenses of cameras in space, um, on our um, astronauts, face shields and so maybe we want to reflect the surface of Mars uh, in our windscreens. So using these elements we're going to go ahead and create this Mars fantasy paper model cyber truck. Whenever I'm doing paper craft one of the things I'll do to try to speed things up is use my exacto knife and a straight edge for finished uh, exposed edges so that I can have that great precision. But I'll go ahead and use scissors for the tabs that are folded into the interior uh, in order to speed things up a little bit.
Now, if you watch the great video of the paper model cyber truck by DIY designer, you'll see that they're using like a liquid or gel adhesive. That probably allows you some great opportunities for repositioning parts, but I'm so worried on this white surface of accidentally getting any glue anywhere that's going to start to collect dirt. So I'm using permanent double-sided uh, tape as an alternative, and uh, I really appreciate the effect I'm getting out of that. It's important to think about the alignment of the brush pattern if you're going to go ahead and use like a brushed aluminum vinyl like I am here. Uh, I go ahead and I align the brush pattern with the longest edge of a given part and that really helps uh, most of the parts look more like they would in real life instead of having like the brush pattern just blazing a trail through the part at some off angle. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you check out the first page of the PDF by DIY Designer so that you don't miss the simple instructions there. Uh, they tell you that dashed lines on the template indicate a fold in one direction, while a dashed dot pattern indicates folding in the other direction. I've done my fair share of paper modeling, but it's mostly been from my own ideas, and so I wasn't super familiar with the vernacular of paper folding and some of those techniques that I imagine are, are probably pretty straightforward and often used. But if you're like me, you're going to want to make sure not to miss that important clue. What would a piece of space hardware be without some solar panels? I mean, presumably each cyber truck is not going to carry its own nuclear power source like Perseverance. So one of our designers here, Dustin, has designed this little custom fit solar panel for our paper cyber truck, and we'll go ahead and get it applied right here. I'll tell you what, this burnishing tool is one of the best purchases that I've made for working with paper. Uh, when you try to use your fingernails or other instruments to fold, you can sometimes uh, damage the paper and you certainly risk imparting some kind of dirt or oils from your skin to the product. I was able to pick it up uh, while I was doing a winter residency at Penland and I got it in their little uh, craft supply stores. It seems like it's made out of just a Delrin, and so it slides across the work easily. And of course, it's white so you can see if it's collected any dirt and uh, make sure it doesn't impart any of that to your model as you use it to score paper and or to just increase the crispness of your, your folded edges.
Well, here we are. I had one last idea though to di differentiate our Fantasy Mars Truck Edition from the standard DIY designer paper model. And what led me there was kind of thinking about our Lunar Rover, uh, which had four tire steering. Well, the promise of Lunar four-wheel steering at least came to pass in 2179 in the movie Aliens when uh, the Colonial Marines took their armored personnel carrier uh, out and Sigourney Weaver taught them and a few unauthorized passengers how to drive it. So in honor of uh, uh, four-wheel steering in space, uh, we have modified the base of the model to angle our wheels into the position of all steering at once. DIY Designer has created, of course, the basic template, uh, which you see here. And you reinforce this with cardboard and you fold up uh, the four wheel wells to put the wheels on. And that's what we did on our standard model right here. Now, when you print out this template, it's very hard to see it. Sometimes uh, we'll bring in a flashlight to try to figure out where my cut lines are. Um, and even that doesn't get you there sometimes. But what we started doing was taking the basic template and trying to figure out how to fold it up so that our wheel wells would offer a plane that created that four wheel steering effect. And we had to keep fine tuning it version after version and determining what kind of uh, tabs we could create. And then where do we put our kind of uh, gussets here that will allow us to hot glue our wheels into shape here. And this one we can see our front wheels here. We'll kind of mount to those planes. And our rear wheels here mount to these planes. We're ready to stance this truck. Now, what I wanna do is give some energy to the body. That's one thing we don't get out of the parked kind of model is the energy of the turn in progress. So I kinda wanna have a, a braking turn where we see the nose of the, of the vehicle diving down and the, and the body starting to roll over with the energy of the turn. So we'll go ahead and stance this to the uh, tabletop and then we'll glue our wheels onto that body in position and then it should all stay together that way forever so we got the hot glue gun warmed up we're going to find out what we can stack this up on to get it in position so what we've done here is we've gotten a couple wedges tried to fine tune the ride height of the vehicle and then i've layered up some things in uh, the rear quarter and that'll hopefully give the vehicle a little bit of dive and a little bit of roll. So um, that's what we're hoping for. We can see it there. See, this is the low point. This is the high point. Uh, that's looking good. The last thing I want to do though is secure this so it doesn't move on me when I start um, when I start uh, hot gluing these wheels into position. So I've got some Joe's sticky stuff here. This was tool of the trade as prop master, set dresser, whatever. This is like a clear butyl. Butyl is like what they install your car window with. And hopefully it'll be sticky enough here to hold our vehicle while we hot glue the wheels in place. Now, hopefully none of these little gummy elements have changed our parameters, but we'll try to account for that as we stick this back down. Got a nice little bit of body roll. We got a nice little bit of dive down towards the front. Now we just need some 
diorama with some tire treads carving a big circle out there in the Martian regolith. Is that such a thing? We've all heard of the lunar regolith. Is there a Martian regolith? I'm I'm still so much of a petrol head. I see this thing, I just hear the growling engine. But of course we'd be, um, we'd be as silent as the Martian winds. Of course, you know, we're gonna have Starlink on Mars, Martian Starlink, and so we've gotta get that squared away on our vehicle here. Now, I pulled out some little accoutrements, some, uh, furniture items that I thought we could turn into dishes or whatnot, but as small and unobtrusive as I think the real Starlink dishes are, just this plain little dish cover should do the trick. Okay, so if you head on over to DIY Designer's channel, you'll see that they did some mods of their paper cyber truck, and now we've thrown down the gauntlet with our Mars Edition truck. What do you imagine some cyber trucks could be repurposed to do, like a firefighting brush truck? Um, and any other thoughts you may have, let us know in the comments section. You can check out the description of this video for our social media links. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We look forward to you joining us on other video adventures like the ones you see in the thumbnails here. And as always, thank you for watching Home and Design. <laughs>